This right here is what this whole operation is after. Guess which one's ours? It's a mystery. Oh, hey, MTV. Welcome to my crib. Come on in. As you can see, it's about 100 square feet. Beautiful view, like so here. Enormous, spacious bed, bathroom, shower, toilet, everything you need. Massive flat screen TV. Live in large here at Camp Lavona. All right, we're at the Bravis camp. We're getting fed very, very well this evening. I have some prawns. They're not shrimp, they're prawns, mate. Some steak, a garlic bug, whatever that is. We're eating up, and in about an hour, about an hour, we're going out to the mine to see 9800s loading tonight. Because they run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Should be fun. We just drove into the pit. That's a Lee Bear 9800 loading Cat 796 trucks. 80 tons of overburden per pass. That's amazing. This is so wild. Wow. Oh my God. This is so wild. We just took some pictures. I'm gonna go up in the cab. We'll show you some in-cab footage right about now.
so I did ask why they're running these excavators. They have a few of these 9800s, a few 9600s, and a few 9400s. Why not run electric rope shovels? Because this is a great application for rope shovels that I've seen in other coal mines. This is so remote, we drove 100 kilometers from the nearest paved road to this mine site. It's so remote that they don't have the power necessary for the shovels, so they have to run everything diesel. And these excavators just allow for a lot more flexibility because they are diesel. They can move anywhere without the trailing cables. I thought that was interesting. Also, you'll notice as he's digging, he's digging into that face, pulling it toward him while sitting on a bench. This is apparently the most efficient way to dig with these big machines. So he's going to be digging there, pulling that face. And as he works through the night, he'll be moving this way all the way down. And then once he's there, he'll move all the way back and just keep moving forward, backwards, pulling at that face, pulling at that face as he goes. But I was just telling him this is, it's flawless, flawless. 80 tons per pass. As soon as the truck's backing up, bucket swinging over, releasing. It's just absolutely spectacular. Okay, we're all done. We're gonna go get a beer. We'll see you in the morning. That's it. Safety briefing. It is 5.45 in the morning. We, well, I worked out. Angel wasn't there, oddly enough. I went to the mess hall, had a great grub. Now we're gonna do our safety briefing before this crew gets started for the day. And then we'll go see mine operations after this. This is every single day at this time twice a day as the, as the crews change out. It's two crews, two shifts per day, seven days a week. Um, JSA is still picking the six that we do it on a night shift and we're not using that today. I just did a ton of learning. So this is a Caterpillar 796 haul truck. This is a Caterpillar 796 haul truck. The difference between these two trucks, it's the same truck, but the tray, the bed of the truck that holds the material is completely different. This is a Dura tray. So it has a steel skeleton, but the actual tray itself is rubber. Whereas that is the more conventional steel tray. The theory behind the Dura tray is as it dumps, it essentially springs the material out, which helps with carry back. Carry back is the material that sticks within the beds and the buckets of these machines, making them less productive. You don't want material sticking to your bed because it could be 10, 20, 30, sometimes more than that tons per trip that's stuck to the bed that that truck can't haul back and forth, costing a ton of money. Okay, this is the Carmichael coal mine. It is run by Bravis, which is owned by Adani. Now, the mining is performed by McKellar. You got that? Very simple. But 
the premise behind this is there's a lot of mines out here. They have the mine owner, like Bravis here, and then the mine contractor that does the mining, which is McKellar. Bravis owns some of the equipment, McKellar owns some of the equipment, but McKellar staffs all of the machines and operates the mine itself. They do the mining, they're a contract mining company. This allows for flexibility within the mine planning and allows for Bravis Adani to utilize less capital as McKellar is bringing in some of their own equipment. Look, this truck is so big that it has ladders just to get up to the engine. All right, we're down in the pit. We'll show you some beautiful drone footage of where we're standing from a bigger picture perspective. But this right here is what this whole operation is after. This is thermal coal. This is mined, thrown into haul trucks, loaded into haul trucks, gently. Brought up to their wash plant, cleaned, put into rail, shipped to the port, put onto bulk cargo ships, and brought to other countries where it provides power for millions and millions of people. They ship about 10 million tons of this per year. This is what it's about right here. And this, in fairness, we've talked a lot about this with them over the past day since we've been here. A lot of people look very negatively on coal because there's been a lot of, most of the time it's straight up propaganda about how bad it is for the environment. But the reality is this is actually helping the environment because this is going into Southeast Asia and into India and places that don't have consistent power, don't have consistent heat. So rather than burning wood or things that are far worse for the environment, they're able to produce power efficiently, effectively, bringing people out of poverty, elevating them so they can think about how to care for the environment, how to live better lives, which helps people and the world uh, which is not something they talk about often, but this is it right here. This entire operation, it's all about this. We're at the Carmichael wash plant. So this is where the, the you've seen the pit trucks come here, they dump the coal, basically runs through the crushing system into the wash plant, screening process, take the ash out, get the stuff that doesn't add any value gone, get the stuff that's full of value down this belt onto that stockpile onto a train. So it goes from there to the train to the port. Port ships Southeast Asia. Why why is this mine so important? Uh, Look, from a personal level for me, yeah. 
it's so important because of what it does for the communities that support us. On the second stage, it's so important because what we, what we get to do is we get to send high quality coal, mined in the best possible way with the highest environmental compliance, with the highest safety standards, over to the Southeast Asian market where they've got coal, but it's lower quality coal, and they don't have the same technologies and applications we've got here to mine it. So I, I think what we're doing is giving a, a higher quality product to people that are going to benefit their lives and at the same time benefit the lives of the mining communities we support. Yeah, yeah. like what's the story you guys want to tell is, is my point. Hopefully what we've done is show that at the end of the day this is, this is a viable, sustainable industry and done the right way, it can be good for everybody and done the way we do it in supporting the environment. It's a win-win, and, and so, so hopefully just by doing what we do, we can help show people the positives in what mining does for society. Um, all right, well, thank you so much to Bravis, Carmichael Mine, to Adani, to everybody that showed us around today. This was an extraordinary experience. I'm so, so, so happy to come out here. It was amazing to see the mine. It's amazing to see the reality of coal mining, to see the passion people have for this project, to see the quality of life out here. All of it is honestly, I was expecting it to be okay, but this is pretty extraordinary. And I was thinking, I was talking to Angel this morning, it's like, I would do this. I'd happily work out here. So I am going to get a quick workout in. I'm gonna eat my lamb, and then we're gonna hit the road to our next journey. Thanks for tuning in.